In this episode, we're going to be conducting the low voltage tests, which include the resistance test, the impedance test, and the capacitance test. For this, we need to connect our low voltage clamps to the motor terminals. This is the lead, which is entered into the machine here. These leads, by the way, are the high voltage leads that we'll be using later for the, for the higher voltage tests. Um, this is the activation button, this is the voltage regulator knob, and an emergency stop. So here I'm going to connect the three low voltage leads, making sure that the connections are good and strong, and not touching in any way across the three phases. Okay, now what I'll do is I touch the low voltage test button and it opens this screen. Here we can record the temperature or if we're using uh, aluminium wire instead of copper we can change it there and we can even put the connection in if we wish. Select the test button which then gives us an option of resistance, impedance and capacitance symbols. We select the resistance and we simply start the test by activating this button. As the test is being conducted, it populates the three windows here and gives us an unbalanced level at the end. We also have the temperature recorded here. Okay, then we select the test button again. This time we're, we're going to do the impedance test. Select the impedance symbol and exactly the same, activate the test by the same button. Once again, it populates each test lead with the information below and then the unbalanced levels at the end. Then we simply select the final test, which is the capacitance, but for the capacitance test we need to change the lead configuration. Here what we do is we put lead 2 to earth, we leave 1 connected to the winding and we leave lead 3 open. Capacitance, test. And this populates the window just as before, but we only have one reading for capacitance in farads. And that concludes the low voltage testing.